Our countdown of extreme home designers continues with an animal that makes human engineers jealous. After all, we think we're pretty clever when we make a spaghetti-sized strand of steel wire that can support over half a ton. Bind these wires together into a thick cable, and you'd think you'd have a design that could withstand anything nature could throw at it. Back in 1940, that's what engineers thought when they spent two years building a suspension bridge across the Tacoma Narrows in Washington State. They thought they'd built the epitome of lightness, grace, and flexibility. It was certainly flexible. The engineers had designed a bridge that acted like an aircraft wing in high winds. And just four months after opening, the bridge took off. Even today, we still can't match the design of the animal that's suspended at number seven in the countdown. The spider builds a web of silk across busy airspace so it can filter food from the sky. Imagine how different our constructions would be if we could use a material that could hold 4,000 times its own weight and be anchored with nothing but glue. Spider silk is just that a truly miraculous building material. Just think what you could do if you could secrete a strand of spider silk. Weight for weight, spider silk is five times stronger than steel. Even more remarkable, spider silk is twice as elastic as nylon. Using this remarkable building material, spiders design webs that can be more than two meters in diameter. Some silk lines can run nine meters up into the trees and are strong enough to catch small birds. And some spiders' webs are even used to go fishing. In New Guinea, Early European explorers discovered that the locals knew all about the incredible strength of spider silk. They encouraged a spider to weave its web within a frame of bent bamboo. In just a few hours, they were armed with a surprisingly strong fishing net. It could flip half kilogram fish out of the stream and onto the bank. But spiders are number seven in the countdown because one designer has built a house that lets it go fishing underwater. The diving bell spider breathes air like all its cousins, but lives underwater. It builds a silken web that prevents air bubbles rising to the surface. From this underwater air pocket, the spider ventures out to catch fish or tadpoles. By taking quick trips to the surface, the spider collects air on its hairy bottom to replenish the supply in its diving bell. This spider web is an extraordinary construction, but our next contender chooses to build not with silk, but spit. In Southeast Asia, some of the safest properties on the market are found inside caves. They're warm, dry, and far from hungry mouths. There's only one problem. 
on the smooth rock walls, there's nothing to hang a house onto, unless you're a cave swiftlet. These birds are number six in the countdown because they found a way to construct a home on the roof of a cave using a most unusual building material. The cave swiftlet builds its nest out of spit. Their saliva is sticky and sets like glue to the rock wall. They use their beak to weave their sticky slobber into a solid cup. Even with two parents dribbling full time, it can take more than a month to complete the nest. Some humans also build their homes out of fluid, except it's not sticky, but frozen. Igloos, constructed from blocks of hard packed snow, have been part of Arctic life for hundreds of years. But to find the ultimate igloo, why not book a room at the Ice Hotel? Every year on the river Torna in Sweden, the hotel is made of more than 10,000 tons of ice and 30,000 tons of snow. Clear river ice is carved to make everything from the windows to the bar. The hotel can sleep 100 guests and they'll be delighted that their beds are not made out of frozen saliva. But some people in Southeast Asia will go to extraordinary lengths to get into a swiftlet sticky bed, even if it means balancing on flimsy bamboo ladders 150 meters above the cave floor. Collecting nests is a lucrative business. That's because when you boil up cave swiftlet spit, you have the main ingredient of bird's nest soup. This gives a whole new meaning to home sweet home. While some designers are real sticky beaks and others are wonderful weavers, Coming up are 10,000 builders that make a real splash. The next contender in our countdown of home designers lives in a fortress, and its defenders are quick to take offense. Making a splash at number five in the countdown is the wasp. A single queen stronghold starts as a papery honeycomb-like structure. Inside this tiny sphere, she raises the first generation of workers that will go on to help her build the underground fortress. These workers chew up wood fiber and glue it together with saliva to make a kind of paper mache. The colony grows downwards as more comb is added beneath the existing layers. From its humble beginnings, most nests grow to the size of a football and contain more than 10,000 individuals. Usually, nests die off over winter, but in some warm climates, the colony continues to develop over a number of seasons until you can have a giant fortress protected by hundreds of thousands of stinging defenders. It's an incredibly intricate piece of design using a substance that we take for granted. Yet millions of years before we even discovered how to make paper, wasps were using it as a building material. Some wasps even incorporate bits of sand into their paper for strength and hardness. 
Humans have also made strong fortresses, not of sand, but rock. In the days before gunpowder, castles were truly imposing fortresses. With stone walls up to six meters thick and 12 meters high, they could withstand almost anything thrown at them. Anything except an earthquake. Wasp nests made of paper can withstand even the most severe shaking. Human buildings are much less flexible. Don't panic. This restaurant is meant to rock and roll. At the Disaster Cafe in Spain, diners pay to sit through a magnitude eight earthquake every 30 minutes or so. Thanks to its extreme design, in this restaurant, you can guarantee that the martinis are shaken, not stirred. The wasp nest may have no trouble surviving an earthquake, but there are other dangers associated with living in a house made of paper. Some uninvited guests can find it irresistible. However, our next contender has even bigger problems.